Well, hi. Yes, I know. Clickbait. So why am I so in love with my doctor? Well, I went to see him because, you know, needed med check and all that stuff. But I told him that my eyes kept watering and I kept having to like dot my eyes and like really wipe my eyes and I couldn't do all the looks that I wanted to do because my eyes would water constantly. And he's like, well, look, let me see inside your eyes. So I pulled my lid down and he looked and he goes, you have allergies really bad. And I was like, am I allergic to my makeup? And he said, no, you're not allergic to your makeup. You just have allergies really bad. So I'm going to give you medicated drops. <sighs> Wish I would have talked to him years ago because my eyes, I've been on these drops for two weeks now. Yes, two weeks now and fabulous. So that's one. And I know I'm putting in the title. I'm so in love with my doctor and honey, I'm sorry. I love you, but yes. Anyway, I have two boxes here. It's also my birthday month. So happy birthday to me. I am now 51 years old. Woo! I know. And yeah, I have wrinkles, whatever. So I had ordered these things a while ago. Um, and this one, I kind of opened it just to peek inside, but I haven't actually taken it out. So I'm going to open this one. And this is um, Magnetic Eyeliner Eyelash Suite. Suit? Suite? Suit? I don't know. Anyway, I somebody sent me something and said, you should try these. And so I was like, okay. Um, these look right up my alley. So they're all very, except for these look a little bit, but more bold, but they're not like super bold. Like they don't look like they're going to hit my lid. Um, so I'm going to try these today. At least that's my plan is to try them today. And then <laughs> I saw this and I was like, okay, I know money is money and things are tight and we've had issues with cars and this, that, and the other. And but, you know, sometimes life is short and you just do what you do. And so I did it. I did a thing. And I'm so excited to be opening this. I'm going to see about using it to open. Oh, packaging is a thing. Whew. So anyway, oh, I got the Samantha March and Ofra collection. And this is the Belongs to collection. Open. And then you open it up. And it looks like a book. It looks like you have a book because Samantha March is an author. And then there's a, a note. <laughs> and then it's crazy, but there's a thing of stickers. There's her dog, Aries, and her name. And um, lip gloss and just fun things. Um, so there's that. And then... <laughs> There is the Life's a Draft palette. We're going to look at that in a minute. And then there's three Ofra lip, lip glosses. Now, I like lip, lip glosses, but the problem is we're all wearing masks right now. And you can't really use them. So I don't necessarily want to open these. I want to open them and I want to show them. There's... A, um, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a glare, but this is like a golden color, like, um, and it's called queen. Cause I've watched other videos and it's like, um, her dog Aries. It's inspired by her, um, Vishla Aries. And then Millie is inspired by her grandmother. And that was her original collab with Ofra. And then this is a pinky gloss and it's called peony, which is her favorite flower. 
Alrighty, so now let's see if we can open this. I don't want to like, I don't want to ruin it. So I'm just going to snip it because it's just better that way. Um, and this is not just an eyeshadow palette. Ooh. This is a face palette. So there's eight shades of eyeshadows. There's a blush, a highlighter, and a bronze. Now, you can use the blush on your eyes. You can use the bronze on your eyes. You can use the highlighter on your eyes. It's an all-over face palette. So you can do whatever you want to. So I happen to be wearing something kind of lavender and pink because I knew that this was kind of the color scheme that was coming in this. And I'm going to do an eye look. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet because I'm... It's really pretty. Purples are not normally my favorite, but these colors just look so pretty. And I wanted to spoil myself for my birthday. So I did. Alrighty, well, I'm going to get my um, ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, concealer. And I'm going to put that on my lids. I also got from my son and daughter-in-law, they gave me this beautiful caddy to uh, keep my brushes in so I don't have to like dig through things. I can pretty much see what I have. I haven't filled it all the way up because it, I just haven't taken the time. I work full-time too. Well, not full-time, but I drive school buses as well. And um, my birthday was just on Saturday, so it wasn't like I've had months and months or, you know, weeks or whatever. But um, so I wasn't able to do that. Um, my son and daughter-in-law, um, they knew about my struggles with vehicles. And my son offered to sell me his Jeep Patriot. It's a 2014. I've never owned any car that has been in the 2000s. It's always been, you know, in the 1900s. So it wasn't, you know, 1998, 1997, 1995. I've never owned anything, you know, in this century. And I was like, you know, I really want to have like a newer car that, you know, I can actually like potentially have for a while that's not going to be, you know, I I just do. I think it I think it'd be nice to have something that's a little newer that I can actually like really be proud of. Um so now I'm using the ColourPop to just set my concealer down. Um and so for my birthday, which was actually um this past Saturday, um they showed up and brought me my car. It, they're supposed to bring it up this next weekend. Um, and they kind of finagled things around and worked things out a little different and brought it to me early. I'm like, yay! I love having early Christmas or early birthday presents. So that was fun. Um, like I said, I haven't switched all my brushes over. Not all my brushes are going to fit in there. I know this. So I'm going to take this brush right here. And not all brush companies label their brushes. So I have no idea who made this brush. It's not labeled, but it's just like, um, a blending brush type thing. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. And they're not labeled on the front. And I think that is called Cherry. Cherry is that one. And I think, from what I remember, Cherry is the street she grew up on. I 
think that's what it was. I've watched her video explaining the names and, um, yeah. So, uh, my mirror is right here. I just put it over here so you can't really see it. And then I'm just going to brush this. Oh, that's, that's pigmented. I'm going to brush this in my crease and I don't know if you can hear it, but my neighbor is, uh, outside playing his music and it's a nice sunny day over here and his kids are playing on the trampoline. So if you hear background noises of kids or music or whatever, that's what's going on out there. But I have not filmed a video in a while. Um, I took, I know a break. I'm sorry. Um, not that I have a schedule and not that a whole lot of people depend on me, um, putting up a video, but, um, my husband and I got a gift given to us to go and, um, visit Leavenworth, Washington. And I had never been, I've lived here 21 years and I had never been, and it's only three hours away. It's not like it's um, across the country or something like that. I'm just going to buff this around a little bit, making it a little softer, moving it around. Um, so anyway, we went there to, um, have a little vacation. And so that was really fun. We, um, got to do a horse and buggy. We went to, um, Kashmir, which is like 10 miles away and it's the place where they make um applet and cutlets and they announced in march at some time that they're actually closing their applet and cutlet stores and vince was devastated and he's like we need to go over there and buy everything they have and i said well we're not quite going to do all that but we will and we did go over there and buy a bunch and it's in our freezer because you can freeze them. And so we did, we put them in the freezer. So that's there. Um, but it was fun just to have a peaceful getaway where we didn't have to spend every last dime we had because we didn't have to pay for where we were going. It was um, given to us. There was a timeshare over there and we loved going and doing, you know, just having some place. Um, there was a kitchenette, so we brought food and we made our own meals, some of them anyway. And then, um, we just enjoyed ourselves. This color is super, super, super pigmented, like really pigmented. But, oh, so pretty. All right. So now I'm going to take this one. Sorry, I turned it upside down so I can read it. Um, and it's called Ink. So I don't know if you even know who Samantha March is, but she is a writer on top of a YouTube um, influencer. And so, um, that's why the package looks like a book and this is called life's a draft. And, um, so she's, she is a writer and she has published her own book. She's working on her ninth book now, and maybe someday when I can, I will actually read one of her books. I have not even tried, um, I'm not a huge book reader. Um, I would love to be, but I have not been. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, did I finish telling you about my son and my daughter-in-law? I think so, that they brought me their, their car. Um, so I'm gonna do this a little different than what I normally would do. I'm kind of putting this at an angle. I've been watching, um, Angelica. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Anyway, I, 
um she's her name is angie she goes by um a happy clown here on youtube she loves color and um she's got um a palette out with uh kaleidos and she has just the most beautiful eye looks but she did this look kind of like a halo eye only it was at an angle it wasn't just straight on like a regular halo eye and i was like "Ooh, i want to try that so i'm trying it today so this has a little bit of this color ink has a little bit of shimmerish to it but not bad like it um I don't remember like what the formulas were that they said these were, but it's not, um, it doesn't have like a whole lot of glitter to it or whatever, but, oh, that's pretty. So anyway, I've been watching her, um, and I wanted to do a little bit different of a look because makeup is fun. And I'm not going anywhere today. I don't have to work today. I um, get to have the day off. My husband took the day and went on an adventure. And so I get to be alone with my makeup and you guys and do what I want to do. And this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so there's that. But yes, I did turn... 51 this month and um one of the things I like about Angie sorry I keep kind of bouncing around but um one of the things I like about Angie is she's like I have mature eyes I'm 37 and I'm like oh honey oh honey um mature eyes yes I I get it because I have mature eyes I see all these people on YouTube who are doing their makeup and they're like, oh, if you do this, you won't have, um, you won't get it in your creases. And I'm like, or fine lines. And I said, um, I have fine lines. No matter what I do, I will always have fine lines because I have, um, mature eyelids. Well, I like that word, mature. Only mature implies that you're somewhat of a grown-up I don't want to um I was like I said I drive school buses as well and my one of my students I was asking them yesterday you know what do you want to be when you grow up and one little boy said I, I don't want to grow up same I don't want to grow up either. He said, no, I don't want to grow up at all. I want to stay a little kid forever. Okay. Apparently he realizes that grownups have to do grown up things. We all have to work. We have to, you know, pay bills and he, he doesn't want to. Okay. I don't blame him. If I had the choice of being a kid again, would I? Mm, yes and no. I would love to go back to my childhood, tell my childhood self some things, um, love on my mom a lot more because I unfortunately no longer have her. She's been gone for 25 years now. And yeah, there's that. Um... So the next brush I'm going to take, this is a ColourPop E21, and I'm going to take this color right here. It's kind of a shimmery pink, and it's called Maya, and like I said, I did watch the video on why she named things the way she did, but I don't remember what Maya was. I think Maya was a friend of hers. I think, like a childhood friend growing up, but I don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. 
And this is more like a topper, I think. I don't think this is something that you can actually like. I don't I don't see it going on real well. So I might have to change tactics. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna take see it, you can barely see a difference. I'm going to take the one right above it, which is 09 right here and i do remember 09 um was the year that she published her first book she started her own her youtube channel like 09 was her beginning year and so yeah this one you can see a lot better and maybe we'll put that other one over the top of this. So hopefully that'll that'll be better. Maybe I'll use my finger um, to do all that. But so this is 09, and she yeah she started out her YouTube channel on um, 09. She did a book review um, at first, and then. Um, she got into makeup and has been doing it ever since and she's been doing really well so I really like Samantha Mark as far as like I don't know her personally but I, I like watching her YouTube videos she's very genuine um, a very genuine person to watch um oh i like the way these are blending i know it doesn't look like a whole lot for you guys but it's a little bit different in person um i never really noticed that but then um i did a look for my youtube channel and then i went outside and it was um i thought it was bright in here when i was doing it and then i went outside and it wasn't as bright outside as it was in here oh i got that a little further up than i wanted to but that's why where'd it go yeah that's why you have the tissue close over so you can do that and then just brush over it oh there go my dogs so i'm gonna take this and it shows up a little better on my finger. Let me see if it'll show up. Not as glittery as I want it to be. I want it to be like super, super glittery. This is like a really pale, maybe this would be a good inner corner highlight, but I like things shimmery. So I'm going to take this color here in the middle that says dream chase dream chaser it is her highlighter that she created with ofra look at that so let me just so you can see the texture in my eyes because i have mature eyelids but i don't care because i like makeup and i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do so I'm just going to bump that all over a little bit. And then I'll take this on my other finger and do it on this side. How's that? And then I'm actually going to take and I'm going to go back in. Oh, this brush right here is from Blinged Brushes. This is their E7 from their Rose Gold sec um, collection. I'm just going to take that and deepen up the outer triangle just a little bit. Blend those together with the ColourPop one. So there's no like harsh lines <laughs> and now because oh i have to go put my foundation and everything on 
I'll be back. Okay, so I have my base on. Because I get to do this today, I'm actually going to put my ColourPop concealer actually where concealer is supposed to be and see if it does make any kind of a difference. Normally, if I put concealer on, I feel like it emphasizes um, my fine lines, but maybe because I'm no longer watery down there, maybe it'll make a little bit of a difference today. So it'll brighten up my under eyes a little bit, but not look like as bad. So that's my plan. We'll see how that really works. So, you know, they say do this and blend it out, which it does look good. It looks, it looks brighter. And then take a little bit of your setting powder. And I know they say it probably matters which one you use or whatever, but I'm trying to use up, I don't want to have like 15 of them open. I just want to use what I have available to me. So this is that ColourPop setting powder like I used on my lids. See, I see powder, and I don't like powder. So maybe tomorrow I won't do powder, but let's see what I can do under my eyes now, because I get to. Um, I'm going to take this color right here, which is called BAM. And I'm going to get a flat angled brush and I'm going to take that and run it right along my lower lash line. I'm not one to put like a whole lot of color underneath there but I've always felt like I never could because I would always have a tissue handy to dry my under eyes because they watered so bad. Like they would water constantly all day long. And I hated it, hated it, hated it, hated it. And I'm like, okay, so I'm not a beauty girl guru. I'm not a influencer, but I felt like I was always missing out on being able to use more color because I couldn't use this real estate down here. <laughs> um, and now, cause I want to use as many colors as I can, I'm going to take this color over here, which is called peace. Um, and again, Samantha will tell you what the names or yeah, what the names mean to her. I don't remember all of them. And I'm just going to run this along with that Ooh, and try and match it up. That might've been a little bit too dark, but we'll fix it. Run this along the bottom. Maybe this brush is a little bit too big. Just run it along the bottom right down there. And kind of now I'm going to take the bling brushes with that other color called ink. 
and I'm going to run that along my oof, lower lash line to kind of blend those two things together. Give it a little bit more um, cohesiveness. I know it looks really funky right now because it looks like somebody punched me in the eye. But when I'm all done with lashes and everything, it will look so much better. Promise. Okay. So now I'm going to take my angled brush that I use with my bronzer. And this bronzer, she has another collab. This is her second collab with the Oprah. And this is the bronzer called Key, which is um, the matte bronzer. She has one that's called River. And it's this shadow and another shadow, I think. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to take this and do my bronzer. And a little up here. So um, my husband and I got some kind of upsetting news today so last February before all this corona stuff happened um, I bought my husband some Chris Stapleton tickets and we were gonna go see him in the gorge and I've never been to the gorge well then corona happened and the concert got put on hold okay fine they said oh well we're gonna go back you know july or june of 2021 this morning i get an email saying your tickets are now good for 2022 Ugh. so now um yeah, we're not happy about it. This is her blusher shade, and it is kind of, uh, not that one. This one is the blusher shade, and it's kind of um, got like a glitteriness to it, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like it, but I'm going to try it. It's called Six, and ooh. That's a lot. Let me see if I can add some over here. And then we're going to buff it in over here. See if I can disperse this a little bit. So that's quite a lot. I don't normally bring it down there, but... Whew, that's a lot. So, and there go my dogs again. I'm just going to take my sponge and kind of go over it a little bit. Give it a little bit of a bump, bump, bump. See if I can blend that out just a little bit. Um, well, sort of. It diffused it a little bit just a little oh sorry I had to go see make sure there was nobody at the door and there wasn't there was just people walking across the street my dog seemed to think that nobody can be in our area um so that blended that out a little bit more. Um, and now I'm going to put um, my setting mist on. I love the smell of that. That'll help it 
sink into the skin a little bit with all those powders. And lightly go over everything. And then I'm going to take, this is um, Ménage Pointed Brush number 19. And it's just a little, I'm going to dab, dab, dab into the highlighter. Ooh. You see that? Dab, dab, dab into that highlighter. Ooh. You will shine like the top of the Chrysler building. And I know, I've got texture, but oh, so pretty. And I like to take it. and put it up near my eyebrows because I like to shine, like I said, like the top of the Chrysler building. I know they probably don't even say that anymore. And tell me if you know what movie I'm referencing that from when I say that, because I'm not sure a lot of people know. Take this down my nose. You can't even really see it, but it's there. Can, ooh, you can see. <laughs> so those, that's really nice. And then I'm going to take my little itty br bitty brush and take that highlighter on my inner corner. I was going to use that pink one, but... I like to be shiny. I like it to glisten and I like to stand out. I don't know if anybody has noticed that about me, but so. Alrighty, I'm gonna go off camera again and I'm going to uh, finish up. I'm gonna put some brows on and some liner and then we will be back to try out those magnetic lashes. Be back soon. Alrighty, so I've done my liner and my lashes. For my liner, I use the ColourPop Joyride on the um, waterline, and then I just lined it with black liner. Well, now that I'm sitting here kind of looking at myself, my lips look really pale. And I know so many people, you do a bold eye, you do a nude lip. Um, my lips are really pale to me. And I don't like nude lip colors. If I'm going to wear lipstick, it's going to be a bold lip color. So this is um, brand new to me. I know it's not brand new to everybody else, but I've never used Almay um, lipsticks before. And this is a new one. It's I used it yesterday. It's so pretty. I'm just going to put it on right now. No liner, just because I don't want to. hard to talk and put lipstick on. I really like the dark color. Oh, it looks so pretty with this lip with this eye look. My personal opinion.
And you know whose opinion counts when they're putting on makeup? Mine. When I'm putting on my makeup. I don't follow the rules. It's kind of the way it is. Alrighty, so now I'm going to take this magnetic lash adhesive and I'm going to go over that. Liner. And see how it goes. All right. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. I'm going to take out. Now, these are my typical eyelash tool. They sent this one. Now, it's, they're pretty close to the same. I mean, this is a little bit funkier looking, but. The angle is pretty much the same, so I'm assuming that they're just going to go be able to go on, and I'm actually going to use the most dramatic lashes, and these are magnetic, so the lash stuff that I put on um, is supposed to be magnetic, and then these have like little, uh, you can't even really see them. See those little itty bitty magnets? Alrighty. Yeah, we're gonna put it on this way. Hopefully. No, don't touch those. I'm not the best at these in general, so putting them on with metal eyelash when you're trying to get the magnets to stick, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, yeah, I think they coat them, but they don't coat them with anything that's not gonna let the magnet stick to you or stick to it. Then I'm just gonna just want you to stay down. That was pretty easy though. I mean, they're, so you can see the difference. This is the eye with, this is the eye without. So it's more, there's more lash there, but I don't think they're bad. I don't think like they're, humongous so let's see if I can get these on I think out of like a lash glue or a magnetic lash I honestly think I like the magnetic ones better they go on quicker mm. no not way up there not way up there. I want, I want you down. Can you come down? See if I can get these to get on there. What do you think? 
I know I'm filming in the middle of the day and so the lights outside and there's lights in here and but I think this is really good I really like it I feel pretty and that's all that really matters you can do whatever makeup you want to um, makeup is fun you just do it because you like it my husband always tells me you don't need all that you don't need all that I don't need all that I feel prettier when my face is done up I feel prettier when I have my earrings in I feel prettier when I have my rings on I feel prettier this way than I do in my normal everyday just out of bed type look so he just puts up with me <laughs> and he has been telling me lately that I look really really pretty and so um, I think he's finally learning I mean it's only taken me 13 years <laughs> so anyway but tell me what you think in the comments down below if you like it if you like my videos please subscribe hit the like button share with your friends um, I'm gonna try and post more scheduling is an issue um, I have Wednesdays off so I'm gonna try and post more on Wednesdays but um, anyway thank you ever so much for tuning in if you did and um, who's better than you nobody Thanks, come again.